Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, yeah, uh, my name is Cadell Cortez and I'm 12 years old and I've been in CAP for five months. Why did you join CAP? Uh, I joined CAP because I wanted to fly. Have you flown yet? No, not yet, but I'm looking forward to it. All right. What, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Hopefully be a pi pilot. Awesome. For the Army or for the Air Force? haven't decided yet. Or for maybe a civilian pilot? Yeah, yeah. Civilian pilot? Yes. Do you have any brothers or sisters in CAP? Yes, sir. I have an older brother in CAP and he's a second lieutenant, I believe. All right. And how do you like it? I It's, it's pretty great so far. Yes. March! Four. You started on the top. Yeah, but you were at half left. Good evening everyone, I'm Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Mendiola. I was the uh, former Cadet Commander before uh, Chief Salvador uh, became the new Cadet Commander last month. Um, I've been in CAP just a little bit about myself. I've been in CAP for around four years. Yeah, four years. Um, I've held the position of Flight Sergeant, so I know, you know, like Hanley and a few other, other people or just got into the role of Flight Sergeant, so I was in your shoes before <laughs> when I first joined CAP. I also became the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the first sergeant of Wheeler Squadron, and then moved up from there. COVID happened. After that, I became the cadet commander. So it was kind of a huge transition for me, being from uh, first sergeant. I was never a flight commander, um, and I also held the position at a wing level, the, the, the public affairs officer. But it was it was COVID, so it was like easy as heck. All, all I had to do was go on Google Meets and take screenshots and post it on Facebook. So it's not like in person, where you, you know you gotta go with uh, pictures like. Major Stokowski over here is like taking videos and pictures of us. It was nothing like that. So yeah, it was, uh, I, I don't know if I counted as cheating, but uh, I held the role of that from the wing level. For right now, I am studying for my private pilot's license as well as working full time at, at a um, workplace that I work at. And let's see, uh, a little bit of encouragement for you guys. I guess things that I've learned is uh, it's okay to mess up, as I'm sure a lot of people already told you, your parents and. Um, whoever you hang out with, uh, don't worry to, or don't be scared to mess up because that's just most of the times. Like as me as commander, I messed up more than I succeeded, but that's just how you learn. That's how you get through things, and that's how you get through struggles. Um, the last thing is um, just take risks. I know a lot of us are sometimes unconfident at who we are, including myself. And I just want to encourage you guys and challenge you guys to take a risk. Thank you, everyone. So hi, I'm Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Tanaka. I've been in it for four years too, CAP. Um, I basically have held base, um, every position there is in Wheeler Squadron. I've been a, a flight sergeant, flight commander. I've done all the staff positions, so PAO, logistics, aerospace. Basically everything except for Cadet Commander, which sounds like a lot of work, so I'm kind of glad I never had to do that. Um, yeah, so some other fun things I've done in CAP is I've done a bunch of airlifts with some of the other staff members up here. We used to go to Maui quite a bit back in our old, like, a couple years ago, do emergency services training up there, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, encampment, I went to encampment with a bunch of the people up here, and that was a lot of fun as well. Um, some words of encouragement, don't procrastinate when it comes to studying for your tests. I know that a lot of us do that. Don't worry, I still do it to this day, so... Just try not to, it helps out in the long run to not procrastinate. And um, yeah, so after this, I'm gonna be going up to the University of North Dakota to study to be a commercial pilot. So fly for the airlines and stuff like that. And 
that's it for me. So. Hey guys, uh, you guys already know who I am, I hope, by this point. <laughs> but uh, it has been come a long way from being in all of y'all's shoes as a little 12 year old uh, joining CAP. I remember I wore boots that my dog chewed up. I, they had a big hole in them. And uh, I joined CAP to get new boots, which was the main point. But now was, CAP has been a blast. Uh, everything from I was able, had the privilege to go and get my private pilot license through CAP and go to Texas to get to fly over there. Going to encampment was a blast. And um, really just meeting all of you guys, the connections I've made, been able to make with Colonel Ferrara and Colonel Herrera, uh, Joan and Pasquale, Riley, and all of you guys. Um, it's just been such a, such a blessing to be a part of this great community. Um, some words of encouragement are, uh, I think, so when I was a flight commander, we had a saying, you guys all remember what it was, right? Come on, where's Delta Flight? Delta Flight was the, what was the saying? Anyone? Is there anyone here from Delta Flight? Oh my God, that's really sad. I was in Charlie. Man, everyone's gone. That's super sad. Uh, but I had a saying, aim high. So, in anything you do, aim high. Even though I'm, I'm uh, planning on going into the Navy, I still say the Air Force saying, aim high. Uh, it's, it's a great, it's a great thing to do. Whether if, if you want to get your pilot's license. If you want to get into a really good school, anything you do, aim high. And also, uh, make friends, have fun. Fly. Fly. I mean, come on, guys, you're in CAP. Just fly. It's so much fun. It's the best. Um, and so in the fall, I'm going to be going off to Texas A&M University, Giga Maggie's, uh, to be part of uh, the Navy ROTC battalion there. And I will be studying aerospace engineering. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Ferrara, oh, with Nataliana Ferrara. Um, I've been in CAP for four years, not counting COVID years, so it's been a kind of a while. Um, I have held various staff positions uh, in Wheeler Composite Squadron and at the wing, so I was a flight sergeant, flight commander twice. Um, I did a whole bunch of logistics and admin stuff for mission support staff when we had one. Um, I was the PAO officer for the wing, so I would post and take pictures and post on Facebook and stuff when we still had airlifts um, at the wing level and stuff like that, right before COVID. Um, yeah, I would say that the, one of the best things about CAP is just the community that is created with it. Just like uh, First Lieutenant Cortez said, I mean, I've met just countless amount of people that I want to keep in my life forever. The girl in the corner back there being one of them and the guy on the crutches. Um, everybody, everybody who's standing up here with me right now has been here with me for so long and I'm just so happy to know that all of you guys are my friends and my family that I can count on. Um, some words of encouragement for you guys. I would say just make CAP fun for yourself. If you want to do anything in this program, make sure you do it, okay? A lot of this stuff is free and is available for you guys. You know, flying, any emergency services stuff. I went to Maui like four or five times to do emergency services stuff, and that's where I found my love for nursing and for helping others. So that's what I'm gonna be doing when I leave for college to go to the University of Arizona. I'm gonna be studying nursing. And I found that love because we did emergency services stuff and helped people who, you know, we play doctor and did litter and helped all these other guys and stuff like that. And that's how I figured out all of that stuff. So there's so many opportunities for you guys in this program, fine or not. You know, leadership, emer uh, aerospace, emergency services, and volunteering, everything is in this program. So just make sure you guys find what you want to do and we can help you guys make it happen. Okay? Yes, cool. Good evening, everyone. I am Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Jones, and uh, I've been with the squadron for about, say, four or five years. Um, kind of been doing a bunch of stuff uh, on and off, but some of the leadership stuff I've done has been uh, mostly down at the, uh, what is it, flight level, being element leader, things like that. 
Um, also did a bunch of uh, mission support stuff, uh, being CAC representative for our squadron. Um, and then also the most uh, current one uh, was prior first sergeant. Um, Oh, let's see, words of encouragement. Uh, <laughs> make friends, definitely make friends. Uh, have fun. Uh, do anything and everything you can do. Uh, CAP has a bunch of opportunities, have a bunch of programs. Uh, there'll be something there for you. Something that I did was Cyber Patriot, and I fell in love with doing computer science. Um, and now I'm planning on going to college, majoring in computer science, and doing Air Force ROTC. Um, so yeah, have fun, make friends, stay in touch with your friends, and you'll go places. All right. So are you just finishing working out, sir? So it's a little cheat day today. Yeah.